The next fallacy we'll discuss is referred to as a false dilemma, sometimes called a false choice. And a lot of fallacies that we'll be discussing um, are, are good at, at fooling us because they actually look a lot like a good argument. So there's an argument that we learned, an argument form that we learned that we call a disjunctive syllogism. And you probably recall that it follows this argument form. Uh, either A or B, not A, so B. And the fallacy of false dilemma occurs when basically a set of options are presented that don't exact, actually exhaust all of the options. So people will say, oh, you either do this or this, we can't do that, so we've got to do this. When they'll either maybe know full well or maybe not know that uh, there are other options. There really was an option or C or D is the truth. Uh, so a quintessential example that's given in a lot of textbooks are back um, from uh, days when maybe a war was going on or something like that and people who disagreed with what the United States were doing, some people would respond to them and say, look, it's the United States. You either love it or leave it. So if you're not going to love it, you should leave it. Well, clearly there are other options. You can both love it uh, or um, not love it, but still think that there's some things that should be done or um, some sort of uh, correction that's done from the inside. At any rate, this sort of s simplistic version of presenting a problem, just that you either do this or this, is often very persuasive to people. They tend to want to believe it, and then once they accept this, uh, they can easily move on to this conclusion. But this is a fallacy because it's an appealing to a false premise. And whenever people commit that pat a fallacy pattern, we call it a false dilemma.